Yeah, this is the DCR documentary. This is Vlogging TV. What's up, YouTube? The Psycho Side. Back for Vlogging TV, episode number three. Make, uh, basically, what I want to talk about during this episode is I want to talk about some of the speculation, some of the stories, the myths, all about uh, Echo Side, the Dark Carnival Riders, and everything that is Axe Attack Records. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about the nickname Fish and why the fuck they call me that. Uh, so, it all started. Man, back when my rap career very first started, when I first started recording songs and all that shit, I was running with a, a crew, VTV. Now, I don't know if you guys know about them or not, but it was actually a group that I started called the Visalia Town Vandals. Uh, they were some homies of mine. We were a squad. We rode out together and everything. And um, pretty much me and who was my best friend at the time, dude I called Zippy. Uh, me and him rode out to some clown shows together. We went to the Fuck the Fuck Off tour. We went to the Hollow Wicked, uh, well, I think it was Hollow Wicked 2006 actually. This all happened around 2005, 2006. Uh, the name Fish came from a bitch that I was uh, talking to over the internet. Uh, some wannabe juggle that bitch. Uh, she was dating some fucking gay yeah, ass, up and coming rapper who called himself the fucking Pharaoh or some gay shit like that. I ended up finding out that she was fucking cheating on me and shit because her old man fucking hit me up. I was like, why the fuck are you talking to my girl? And I should have told him. I was like, man, why the fuck did she tell me she broke up with you if you guys are still together and shit? Oh, he got fucking pissed. He told her off and everything. And uh, anyway, that's pretty much how it happened because she hit me up and she's like, what the fuck, you fish face bitch? And she started calling me fish face, fish lips, all these stupid ass names and shit. So uh, anyway, right after that fucking happened, uh, I told Zippy that it was kind of an annoying nickname that she gave me, like, she's calling me and I was like, what the fuck? And next thing I fucking know, me and Zippy, we started feuding over who's the fucking leader of VTV, who everybody is, it all went to his fucking head and he thought he was the shit. And, uh, you know, before I even get any, any more into that, something else I want to talk about with that bitch real quick is, uh, at the time me and her were talking a lot, she wanted to be uh, a juggalette rapper, she was gonna start up. And uh, I told her she should call herself Bloody Mary. And we started seeing the name Bloody Mary a hell of a lot. Like that name kept coming up. And uh, I actually saw Bloody Mary for the first time. Uh, after she just showed up in the mirror, she was like, So uh, I gotta say that Bloody Mary, she's fucking real. I've uh, had a lot of experiences with a lot of paranormal type shit. And uh, Bloody Mary was one of them. So. Uh, just to let you guys know about that shit. But anyway, getting back to the other story, uh, me and Zippy, we started beefing and shit. We started having a lot of fucking beef. He was talking shit. I was talking shit. Uh, he was making videos to try to clown on me. I was making videos trying to clown on him. All this shit was going on around 2000, between 2006 and 2007 is when the beef started. And uh, he started calling me the fucking fish. The, uh, the fish bitch, the fish lips, the fish face. He had all kinds of shit going that he kept calling me the fish, so uh, I just kind of adapted to it and I started liking it and uh, my motto became fuck it and shit happens. So all I really got to say on that is I'm the fish bitch, I'm the fish. Yo, so check it out, we're at a fish family reunion. Those are my cousins, brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins on my mom's side, my dad's side, you know what I'm saying? The fish back in his habitat with his fish family. So anyway, you know, Dark Carnival Riders also led me back to 2002. Uh, back then, I had decided I was gonna start. Well, it was gonna be a, uh, another band, and it kind of is. It still is. We still use it as a band as well, but. We started our production label, uh, West Coast Diamonds Productions. Uh, I had started West Coast Diamonds back in 2002, and 
with all the video making and the music making that we had started doing, I decided that, you know what, we're going to bring out West Coast Diamonds Productions. Uh, West Coast Diamonds Productions was in association with the record label, Axe Attack Records, which wasn't going to be the original record label name. The original record label name was actually going to be Me Mug Records, which I had started with Zippy and the VTV. So uh, if that had panned out, we would have had a whole different kind of vibe going on. Uh, it would have been so fresh and zippy. It would have been the Visalia Town Vandals and it would have been Me Mug Records. But uh, with the feud and everything, I just decided to scrap all projects with him. I didn't want to do anything associated with Zippy. So, like I said, I went back old school with it and I brought out West Coast Diamonds Productions and um, Axe Attack Records. They need to start Axe Attack Records. Uh, after scrapping Me Mug Records, I actually decided to do Axe Records and that later became Now I like to do a lot of a lot of weed and murder music, you know, in honor a lot of my my idols. Uh, uh, you know, I really vibe to ICP and Twisted. I'm so in life. Uh, I find a lot of inspiration nowadays. And, uh, people like Kid Crusher, Mad Child, Swollen Members. Uh, still looking to Twisted and ICP a little bit, but uh, mostly just trying to break ground and do my own thing. Just trying to make make music and do the record label. Um, still working with Magisto and Dark Shadow on some projects. Uh, right now I'm currently working on a CD for myself called uh, American Sicko. You know, you guys can look for the video. Um, I'm also working on the current uh, Book of Lyric Kill Volume 2, or Chapter 2 I should say. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Book of Lyric Kill, you guys can find it on my band cam. Uh, I'll be sure to put that later on in the video. So, I mean, that's pretty much past the present. That's what's going on right now. Uh, there's going to be some great things coming from the Dark Carnival Riders in the future. Uh, we still got the Soldiers of Dissension EP going to drop, uh, hopefully sometime this year. Uh, there's going to be some great new music videos coming out. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, check out the newest videos. The Amusing Drum that I did, that's by me, Echo Side. Uh, another good video that I had done recently is uh, A Dirty Fucking Murder. project you're going to look forward to uh, from us is going to be Hits from the Hideout. As you guys know, uh, I don't know if you guys know the story about the Hideout or not, but the Hideout is the Dark Carnival Riders studio where we make all the DCR hits. So, you know, we've been doing this shit for a while now, man. It's 2016, we've been making music since about 2005 when I very first started with a very simple beat maker called EJ Beatmaker. You guys, I don't know if you know about it. I later progressed to uh, Sony Acid Music, and now I'm getting ready to start with Audacity. So there's gonna be some new music, new projects. You know, my um, going back a little bit, my my album after I did. Um, well, actually, you know what? My my first authentic album was Echo Side uh, from Beyond the Grave, but before that, it goes even further back. So Fresh did an album, actually called the Arachnophobia. It's a very rare thing; you can't really find it. I did another album called, um, fuck, I don't even remember the name of it. I don't even have that album anymore. It was, uh, something about, oh, fuck, some kind of darkness album. That's all I know is I did something like Out of the Darkness or, no, you know what? I remember Afraid of the Dark. Yeah, that was my second album. My second official album was Afraid of the Dark. I did it. It's so fresh, but... This was all just a learning experience. When these were albums that I, I made myself that I didn't really know how to mix at the time. My vocals didn't come out well. So those were CDs that never really went anywhere. But once I started DCR and I started Echo Side, I decided to really step it up. And I dropped, uh, uh, Afraid of the, uh, excuse me. I dropped From Beyond the Grave. And then after that was, um, Nightfall. Yeah, Nightfall. And Nightfall just led to a series of other other very cool albums. And all this music is available online. A lot of these songs you can hear. There's old, old school songs, new school songs. Uh, you know, another one of the favorite projects that I did a few years back, right before I did Book of Lyric Hill, was the uh, Just Clowning EP. And some of my favorite songs really came from that. So, uh, yeah, man, that's, that's the story of DCR and Echo Side. And, you know, we're about to... 
this this video that I'm getting ready to introduce you to guys at the end of this video uh, is actually going to tell that entire story just in a quick little three minute song. So I hope you guys check that out. It's going to be at the end of this video. Like I said, this has been Bloggy TV episode three. Uh, you know, all this just came from a lot of dedication and a lot of hard work. Uh, it really did. And uh, let me tell you, not only was it a lot of dedication, a lot of hard, hard work, but a lot of weed. And I mean a lot of fucking weed. Like a massive amount of fucking weed. Because get high as fuck. Make beats. Write lyrics. Drop albums. That's what it's about. So anyway, as I was talking about VTV and the startup of DCR and Axe Attack Records. Uh, after the VTV feud, right at the end of the, the feud... Uh, that was around the time that I actually um, started working with Chaos Records. Uh, I met Dark Shadow online, and then through him I met Magisto. And once teaming up with Chaos Records, that's when we started working on a really big project uh, that's actually available to this day on datpiff.com. You can download it. It is uh, Fright Night Volume 1 presented by Axe and Chaos. Uh, that was an absolutely just awesome project. We got to work with a lot of really good underground up-and-coming artists who were just absolutely awesome. Very fun project. Uh, we started working with people on that project like uh, Azrael and Molly Grusome and uh, just a few other people that were really, really cool. Uh, we started working with Blood X. Uh, there was also, at the time, uh, we were working with Decryption. Uh, we were working with, um, oh, what is her name? What's her name? Razakel. There it is. We were, we, uh, we actually got a couple of songs from Razakel on the project. Uh, it was just an absolutely great, great Halloween project. We got a great song on there by Crow. Uh, it was just so much fun, so cool. It, it made a great turnover. Uh, me and Magista, we did an awesome song on that CD called, uh, Evil Bong where we got Molly Gruesome on the track. She played the evil bong, and she was also herself, so that was really cool. Uh, that was a really fun project, but uh, that project led us to working not only with Azrael, but with Wicked Space Army, in which we started getting on all of their mixtapes, which were presented by Azrael, Project 12, uh, Chef 40, people like that. So, you know, Chef 40, Azrael, if you guys are watching this, whoop, whoop, it's all about one wicked love. One family, Juggalo love, you know it. Shout you guys out. WickedSpaceArmy.com. Make sure you check it out if you haven't. You can get all the mixtapes there. We've been on every mixtape so far, pretty much. We've only missed like one or two of them. Uh, and just recently, a couple years ago, I believe it was, uh, I believe it was in 2014 that we presented uh, Wicked Space Volume 9. The Dark Carnival Riders presented it. It's also available on there. It's uh, the Hip Hop Supervillains of the Underground. Unfortunately, our homie Four Chef D uh, wasn't able to get on that. But uh, Azrael and a lot of other really cool cats got on that, including uh, my boy, Mike Enigma. Uh, back when I very first brought back Dark Carnival Riders and we unleashed uh, Dawn of the Carnival as it is. My boy, Mike Enigma, that's where I met him. Me and him, we started chit-chatting on MySpace. And uh, we did our first collab on that album. It was called Iced Out. We are currently working on a new album called West Coast Diamonds. Uh, it's a West Coast Diamonds EP. It's called West Coast Diamonds Arms Race. Me and Mike Enigma, we've done several tracks on the SCD uh, together because that's who West Coast Diamonds are. It's Echo Side and Mike Enigma. So, Mike Enigma, if you're watching this, I want to shout it out. Awesome project. We need to get back to work. Drop a few more songs for that shit to be done. It's called uh, Arms Race, and it's just going to be an epic project. We did an Iced Out Part 2 on there, and we just did some really, really cool tracks. So, it's going to be up for free download very soon, as soon as we finish it. So, I hope you guys really check that out and enjoy it. Uh, you know, as the years went by... Uh, it was probably around 2011, maybe 2012, when uh, I actually met Wreck. And meeting Wreck, he was a, a local artist who was in the rap scene. He was in the uh, battle rap scene. 
uh, after I met him, I got involved in that, started doing some battle raps. Uh, I only have a few out there. Uh, I don't know, I've been told that I should come back. A lot of people are telling me I should come back. If you guys think I need to come back to the battle rap scene, please leave a comment below. It's something I'm actually considering. Uh, I've actually come up with some fresh new bars, something that's a little harder. So I hope that if I do make a comeback, I can do better than I did the first time because let's just be real. Uh, I sucked the first time around. I didn't really know what I was doing. Battle rap was never really my scene. I mean, I could throw a badass battle rap on a beat. I can do a badass diss track. But uh, as far as actually like interacting and, and as far as power and respect goes, that's the group that we were working with. Um, I just never really seemed to, to click there. The, the battle rap never really took off for me. But uh, I am definitely... Considering coming back, I have a couple of opponents in mind, a couple of things that, that I think might work. So if you guys really want to see me do that, if you guys really want to see me back in power and respect, please, please leave a comment below. Let me know. Say something. All right. Um, but, yeah, so all that takes me up to uh, some of my most recent things. You know, today's 420. So I got a shout out. One of my favorite songs and videos, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, make sure you do. It's uh, Menace to Sobriety. You know, speaking of 420, why don't you go ahead and light that up. Yeah, this is the DCR documentary. This is Blogging TV. Episode 3. And make sure you guys stay tuned at the end of this video at the end of this whole little documentary thing is going to be a brand new music video it's called what a writer does it tells this entire story that i'm telling you guys in a quick little three minute video it's really awesome really dope i'm really proud of it, it came out sick it's first time ever it's going to be available at the end of this video so make sure you guys check that out It's a really dope project. So, so with that being said, I also kind of want to hit you guys with an exclusive. Um, it's not exactly in the, the order of the timeline or anything like that, but speaking of that dope song, Menace to Sobriety, it also reminds me of another CD project I'm very proud of <laughs> that I released back in 2012 also. It's called the Just Clowning EP. I'm going to get ready and put that up on my band camp so you guys can be sure to look for it. It'll be up for a free download. I'm going to do that as soon as this video goes up. So make sure you guys scoop that, pick it up. It's absolutely free. All these CDs are free, free download, so you ain't got nothing to lose. Pick it up, give it a listen, hate it, love it, hate it, rate it. You know, you know how it goes. Um, speaking of that also... I'm also going to be dropping a brand new EP that's just finished up. It's called the Wolf and Sheep's Clothing EP. Also going to be available on my band camp. All these links and things will be available in the description down below. So you can go to all the websites. You can get all the albums. You can scope out the music and just really give Axe Attack Records a fair shake, if you know what I'm saying. Currently, I'm working on the American Sickle uh, CD, as I had said earlier. That'll be my next CD project. Um, I'm also currently working on a Battle Axe Warriors project. It's an EP called the Red Dragon EP. I'm going to be dropping that soon. So this is all the current events that's going on in the whole Axe Attack universe, the Echo Side world, the DCR world. <clears throat> Me and Magisto are supposed to be teaming up real, real soon. And completing the Soldiers of Dissension EP, which is going to lead to the Hits from the Hideout album, which is going to be a collection of all of our greatest hits from then and now. All the best hits that were never really fucking hits, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, no, actually, I'm just straight bullshitting you because you know what? It is cool shit. So, make sure you guys get that. And if you guys haven't gotten it already, make sure you get the first ever CD from DCR. Get ready. Just get ready. That's all I'm saying. That's it. If you're a real rider, you'll do it. Um, but anyway, man, I just hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy this rundown, this history lesson, if you will. Echo side. 
a blast from the past, current, and ongoing forever. Like Shinger Law, hitting that until the day I die. You know, wicked shit. So, <coughs> with that being said, you guys, it's the end of the joint, end of the video. Y'all have a happy 420. Peep the video, man. Peep this freshness right here. This shit's called What a Rider Does. Ready, you know we wrecked it Been doing this for years Ain't no more fucking with our methods I got my own records hanging on my wall I'm standing right, right here ten, ten foot tall 2008 started the dawn of, of it all. all Years before that I had a vision, vision of it all 2002 DCR became the crew Now I got ink in my skin It's in my bones Riding through and through Can't stop, won't stop What you wanna do You know I'm telling the truth Now we got the power to make the whole world move Got it on lock and we're blowing up the spot Now that I'm on my way to the top You can feel the tension 2012 begins the dissension From the underground we have risen It's more than a long shot Stop, I cannot Cause now I got my train of thought And I'm standing here with more than what I brought 2007 making up a time lost 2011 now I'm living like a boss Fear ain't no trespassing on my spot Violator sure to get shot It's that girl from the right of click You don't like me suck a dick Fucking with the right of click It's sure to get you dealt with quick I'm more deadly than a Swiss army knife fish You know who the writers is From my town you know I hold it down Roll up a joint and pass it around Getting stoned again Haters getting owned again Bitches getting boned again Getting in my zone Again. Fuck the good luck, the bad luck, I make my own luck Echo side, not giving a fuck Give me a chance to click my thoughts and reminisce Working hard to make our sound sound better My mind's a puzzle and you have to put it together Yourself, I'm self-made, I've gained Fame, fortune, and wealth Going against me is bad for your health Every move I make is deadly and stealth won't stop till I made some wealth Raising my ends, making some friends 2002 West Coast Diamonds begins 2012 the riders descend Been here for years reaching my goals Over 100 CDs sold Riders taking control, smoking a bowl Never gonna stop, never gonna fold Till I reach a million albums sold I'm lifting more weight than you could ever bitch press Haters can't deny our success I dress to impress and I got weed in excess This is what you come to expect Nothing more, nothing less West Coast I stayed low bitch Hard from the start, starting ruckus in this house of cards With a heart that's state of the art, bitch I'm a shark Taking bites out of the industry, we're dangerous Causing chaos in the streets, rider elite Never to be defeated, I'm getting heated For the way that we're treated, riders never being beaten No time to back up, dissect the track up Take you to the chop shop, this rider shit won't stop Keep it underground like an undercover cop We got the drop, getting checks in my mail slot We're calling shots, here we come, ready or not I'm moving forward, never looking back You should talk to shit on me, you better watch your back I'm waking up different days, same shit So I flip my bitch and take a bong hit Keep my soul lifted They keep telling me I'm oh so gifted So I just keep writing my rhymes Living one day at a time Keep it to my grind with a made up mind Hindsight's got me seeing in 2020 Now I'm taking a hold, taking control of my own life I'm still building the hype, hitting the pipe Living my life, got my future in sight Taking directive, my mind is reflective Here's a look at my life from a different perspective On the inside looking out, look for something to help ease my doubt This is how it all came about I'm straight out to get mine, no time to recline It's about time that I put it all on the line This time is about to be mine